Hey everybody, so uh, this is going to be a weird test. Um, last week, now, now this this comes to me because I, I know a friend of mine, he uses his, his 4-track to, as a preamp into the system and he was talking about, he was talking about he was getting a hum and I thought maybe it was because of this, but it's not. So I just want to show you what I've done here. So go to the little thing here. So I've got my four track hooked up. I've got I've got uh, seven and eight recording. They're they're also assigned. You really can't see it that well, but they are assigned. So what I have done is let me get let me get the cable back here so you can see it. I am going from the stereo outs all the way along because this is the way he told me he did it, and I thought I'd try it. And it's coming in onto the four track. It's been a very weird, weird day, I'll tell you that much. So coming into the four track, and I've got it going, I've got it up, and it's going out. I've got it armed, you can see one, two. And then from the line out back here, that, I can't really follow it, but it is going into my rack system over there, which is going into the back of this thing, in the DP32. So he he says he was getting he's getting a weird hiss. Um, so I'm trying it. I'm not getting a weird hiss. So I don't know if it's his cables or what. This now, like I said, this is weird. This is the strangest way I've done this, and this was more as a test to see if that is the reason. Because I generally don't recommend doing it this way because you cause a loop. And then when you cause a loop, you cause feedback. And when you cause feedback, you get noise and it's high and it's annoying. So I don't recommend doing it this way. I would, my way is to do the effects out into the, would be effects out into the four track. He likes using the preamps on the four track, which is fine. You know, if, if that's what you like, if you like the way it sounds. Personally, I got to say, I really, really, really liked the way that my four track sounded when I was trying, when I was doing the, uh, in like from from the four track into the audio interface, that really sounded good. And I was like, wow, I should just keep doing that. And then I thought I broke my four track because I thought my, I thought my, I thought my belt died. I thought my belt died to the point that I actually went out and ordered a belt. I can't really see it that well. But I ordered a belt, and at some point I'm going to try putting it on. But oddly enough, my four track is working now, and the reason I want to do that, I'm just going to go ramble for a while. I don't care. The reason I want to do that was I bought, I bought some. Can't really see them that well. I bought some loop cassettes. I bought a 15 second one and a 10 second one, and I want to play with them. And then my four track died. And then I couldn't play with them anymore. So I was like, oh, this is no fun. But now my four track is back up. So I'm going to play around with those two and see what I can do. So yeah, so this this worked better than I, it did. So you're gonna hear it off this mic here. This is the big mic. Cause I, because like I said, I've had to, I've finagled it and I'm not using my normal setup here. So, and I'll, let me, where's the thing? I'll bring it over so you can see that it is actually working put it on the table here uh hang on let's see all right it's a little bit of a weird angle go like that turn the light off and you can see that's a good spot for it you can see it's it is red it is armed and if i do play it like if i do hit a record it should start playing and you can see track nine. Track nine is what I'm playing off of. And it's... All right, so that that worked. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to hear this. I'm gonna just now go back. Let's unarm these tracks. Let's hear how it sounds coming out of eight. Did it make a higher noise? Hmm. 
Well, I'm definitely not getting the feedback, which is what I expected to get doing it this way. So that rules that out. Um, that's all I can do for you today. Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for subscribing. It's been great. Uh, you guys are awesome, all of you. And uh, yeah, I got nothing else to say. So thank you and talk to you later. Bye. Bye.